<clears throat> Ooh, got to use my mouth. <laughs> uh, good evening. Um, Megan, could you please call to uh, order the uh, organizational meeting of January 3rd, 2023 of the City of East Grand Forks, please? Mayor Steve Gander? Here. Council Members Clarence Vetter? Here. Ben Pukshavinsky? Here. Tim Riapel? Here. Dale Helms? Here. Mark Olstead? Here. Brian Larson? Here. Karen Peterson? Here. Thank you. That is a uh, quorum. Could we please state or uh, do the Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Could uh, stand. <clears throat> Raise your right hands, please. And repeat after me. I state your name. I, I, I Ben do, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution. Support the Constitution, Constitution of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Minnesota. And the Constitution of the State of Minnesota. And faithfully perform and discharge. And faithfully perform and discharge the duties as council member. The duties as council member of the city of East Grand Forks. Of the city of East Grand Forks in the county of Polk. In the county of Polk and the state of Minnesota. And the state of Minnesota to the best of my judgment. To the best of my judgment and ability. And ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Now, if each of you could just sign those documents and then pass them down, I'll notarize them and I'll provide them to uh, Megan. Thank you. Congratulations. Next on the agenda will be the election of council presidents and vice president. Uh, at this point in time, I would open up the nominations for president. I'd like to nominate Mr. Alstead as president. Do I have a second? Second. Is there any other nominations? Nominations will be closed. There should be a ballot in front of you. This is a written ballot. I need you to write on that written ballot and pass it to uh, me at the end. <clears throat> Thank you. I will now uh, read through the ballots. It's Mark Olstead, Mark Olstead, Mark Olstead, Mr. Olstead, President Mark Olstead, Mark Olstead, and Mark Olstead. So it'll be uh, the unanimous decision for Mr. Olstead to be the uh, president of the council. I will at this time turn it over to him for election of the vice president. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you for voting me in as president. Um, move on to nominations of the vice president. Open up the nominations. <clears throat> I'll nominate Tim Riepel. Second. Second by Larson. Is there any other nominations? Motion to close the nominations. Again, in front of you, please write your ballot and pass it on. I'll send those to you, Dave. Call set. <clears throat> Megan, do you have a sheet? A sheet. Dave, you want to pass the sheet on down to me? Oh, sorry.
After reviewing all seven ballots, it's unanimous. Uh, Tim Riopel is the uh, vice president of the commission, or the council, excuse me. <clears throat> Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Entertain, entertain a motion to adjourn. Move. You by Helms. Second. Second by Riopel. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion is carried. means adjourned. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Move on to the Tuesday, June, July, January 3rd, 2023 organizational meeting following. It's 5.05 with City Kirk. Please call roll. Mayor Steve Gander. Here. Council President Mark Olstead. Here. Council Vice President Tim Riepel. Here. Council Members Clarence Vetter. Here. Ben Pakshavinsky. Here. Sorry, I forgot to update this. Dale Helms. Here. Brian Larson. Here. Karen Peterson. Here. Does term quorum. Uh, open forum an opportunity for members of the public to address the City Council on items not on the current agenda. Items of Carlin Council action may be referred to staff, boards, and commissions for research and future council agendas if appropriate. If anyone would like to come up to the podium at this time, I see none. Move on to annual business. Consider adopting resolution 23-01-01, setting the time and hour of regular city meeting minutes and work sessions. Move. Move by better? Second. Second by repel. Any questions or discussion? Roll call, please. Better? Yes. Pakshavinsky? Yes. Riopel? Yes. Helms? Yes. Olstead? Yes. Larson? Yes. Peterson? Yes. Motion is carried. Number two, consider adopting resolution number 23-01-02, designating the exponent as the official newspaper. Move by Helms? Second. Second, Second by Larson. Questions or discussion? Roll call, please. Better? Yes. Pakshavinsky? Yes. Riopel? Yes. Helms? Yes. Olstead? Yes. Larson? Yes. Peterson? Yes. Motion is carried. Number three, consider adopting resolution number 23-01-03, designating the following financial depositories. <clears throat> American Federal Bank, Franz and Bank and Trust, RBC Wealth Management, PMA, 4M Fund. Is there a motion? Oh. Moved by Riopel. Second. Second by Helms. Questions or discussion? Roll call, please. Vetter? Yes. Pakshavinsky? Yes. Riopel? Yes. Helms? Yes. Olstead? Yes. Larson? Yes. Peterson? Yes. Motion is carried. Number four, consider adopting resolution 23-01-04, authorizing persons listed below subject to any express restrictions as authorized for ACH origination and online baking. Move. Move by Helms. Second. Second by Better. Questions or discussion? Roll call, please. Better? Yes. Pakshavinsky? Yes. Riopel? Yes. Helms? Yes. Olstead? Yes. Larson? Yes. Peterson? Yes. Motion is carried. Approval minutes for the December 13th work session and December 20th council meeting. Move by Helms. Second. Second by Larson. Any questions or discussion? Roll call, please. Better? Yes. Pakshavinsky? Yes. Riopel? Yes. Helms? Yes. Olstead? Yes. Larson? Yes. Peterson? Yes. Motion is carried. Scheduled bid lettings, there is none. Scheduled public hearings, there is none. Move on to the consent agenda. Items under the consent agenda will be adopted with one motion. However, council members may request individual items to be pulled from the consent agenda for discussion and action if they choose. If anyone wants 7 through 11 pulled. I see none, I would take a motion of 7 through 11, please. Move. Move, Move by Larson, second, second by Riopel. Yeah. Questions or discussion? Roll call, please. Better? Yes. Mark Shavinsky? Yes. Riopel? Yes. Helms? Yes. Olstead? Yes. Larson? Yes. Peterson? Yes. Motion is carried. Acknowledge of a receipt of reports, officers, boards, and commissions. Regular meeting minutes of Water, Light, Power, and Building Commission for December 7th, 2022. Communication, there is none. Old business, there is none. We'll move on to new business. Number 13, consider adopting resolution 23-01-09, approving the hiring of Luke Metcalf for the team lead facility operations position starting at salary of $23.21 per hour. Oh. Move by Helms, second by Riopel. Questions or discussion? Roll call, please. Better? Yes. Park Yes. Riopel? Yes. Helms? Yes. Olstead? Yes. Larson? Yes. Peterson? Yes. Motion is carried. Move on to claims. <clears throat> Consider authorizing the city administrator clerk, treasurer to issue payment of record bills and payroll. Move. Move by Vetter? Second. Second by Riopel. Questions or discussion? Roll call, please. 
Batter? Yes. Pakshavinsky? Yes. Riapel? Yes. Helms? Yes. Olstead? Yes. Larson? Yes. Peterson? Yes. Motion's carried. Mayor Gander. All right, we haven't met for a while, so I have to catch up, but I'll talk double fast. First, I want to call out Parks and Rec for snow removal. Whenever we talk about snow removal, we talk about public works, but we know Parks and Rec are very involved with snow removal. I took a look at the trail once again, and it's looking really good. Um, get out on the trail. If you have a chance, just grab your sandwich and get out for a walk. And we're all susceptible to seasonal affective disorder coming up on this month of January. However, you know, we already have two weeks where days are getting longer. But still, get outside and enjoy that trail. It's looking good. I know you guys do sidewalks and stuff all over the place. So I know sometimes we, we thank everybody for snow removal and all we talk about is public work. So Parks and Rec, good job. I know you're running hard with uh, winter programs and the ice, ice sheets and maintaining everything. Love it. I want to make sure to say also, maybe you're going to say it, but Brian Larson, after 40 years, will be retiring. And his uh, open house is tomorrow from 12 to 1 at the Civic Center, correct? Perfect. So yeah, if anybody can make it over there, it's open to everyone. He's touched a lot of lives in his 40 years, um, both inside as a staff member, but also as a volunteer in a lot of our programs. So anybody who wants to get over for that, by all means, go over and take part. I know this one's a little late, but I want to thank Sonny for the decorations at City Hall. Um, if you haven't been in the rotunda, they'll be coming down, I'm sure, in the next week or so, but it looks really, really good, the Christmas decorations over here. And, and uh, I was in here the day that he was putting some of them up, and he has fun doing it, and he does such a good job, and I just want to thank Sonny. Super good at, at all kinds of maintenance between here and other buildings that we have, so just want to give a shout-out to Sonny for that. Um, I want to make sure to welcome Karen and Ben. Good to have you folks with us and looking forward to working with you. It's going to be a, a really exciting time. Have some fresh perspectives. That'll be good. Um, and then one last thing about snow removal. I um, got an email and a, and a couple calls about just kind of buttoning up for the last of the snow removal. I did check in with Public Works and they did a lot of the final scraping on the north end. They got 20th and 23rd today and they're going to turn their attention to the south end. Um, Greenwood Drive will get hit. I made sure to bring that one up. And, um, you know, they just kept blowing in. I mean, yeah. I blew my driveway, and then later that day, my son got stuck in it. So that's how fast it just kept coming in through this time. And then with two holidays and everything in between, so it's, it's understandable that the last little scrape is going to take a while. Um, but if you have an area, if there's a cul-de-sac or something we might have missed that... Uh, hasn't been hit maybe even by midday tomorrow. If you want to give a call, um, 218-773-1313. You know, there's a, it's a big city and a lot of streets to hit. And so if there is a side street, a cul-de-sac, anything that needs a final scrape, by all means, give them a call and they'll make sure the crews get over there. That is that. Thanks. Uh, is that your personal number that they're calling? Or? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mr. Vetter. I don't have anything. Thank you. Mr. Prochevinsky. Nothing. I haven't said that for a while. <laughs> I'd like to welcome Ben and Karen also. And uh, from what the mayor just said, we found out he does not know how to blow snow. So I um, <laughs> appreciate him saying that. That's it. That's true. Uh, just welcome Ben and Karen uh, on the council. Thank you very much for running. It's a hard position. A lot of people don't want to step up and do so. Thank you very much for that. And uh, uh, Reed, just to let you know, the Parks and Rec, I'm afraid that Central Avenue North is probably out of the question the rest of the year. After today, the state went by and put about another three feet of snow on the sidewalk, so that probably won't be touched again now. So, but thank you. Yeah, welcome to Ben and Karen. Um, over the next couple of months, we'll get to know you, get to know, uh, listen to you. Hope they voice your opinions, um, but look forward to working with you. So. Mr. Larson. Yeah, just to echo kind of the same thing, welcome to Ben and Karen, uh, as well as congratulations to Luke Metcalf for his new position. Uh, thank you, everyone, for your service. Karen. Uh, thank you, Council President. Uh, just a couple of things. Number one, just want to remind uh, the Council, we do have that uh, joint meeting with Grand Forks tomorrow uh, here at the training room at 5 o'clock. Um, I think that should be very productive. And um, there is, uh, yes, also welcome the two new Council members. And if uh, you get a chance here at the next couple of weeks, uh, stop in. Um, we have some inform information, um, welcome packet, those kind of things to help you transition as you're into your new role. So. 
You're welcome. That's all, that's all I have. Mr. Billstead. I was just going to say, Ben, Karen, if you have any questions or need any uh, assistance, just give me a call. Um, I'd be more than happy to uh, walk you through anything that you have uh, some questions on. Thank you. Mr. Emery. I'd like to also welcome the new council members. Um, and again, if you have any questions as far as, you know, the services and such that I guess, you know, we provide, I provide as um, consulting city engineer, um, always pl please feel free to give me a call, reach out, stop into my office. So look forward to working with you. Anything from the department heads? Reed. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. President, Council. Uh, to just reiterate what Mayor Gander said, um, Brian Larson, it's his final week, retire his retirement is Friday, is his last day. Um, extend the invitation to all of you to please join us at the Civic Center tomorrow at noon. It's from noon to one, it's an open-ended, just drop in and say hello if you have time. There's no presentation or anything. There'll be some cake and refreshments, but um, this is my chance, I guess, I just wanna publicly thank Brian for all of his work. Uh, the li probably lesser known and less visible side of the position he holds is at the cemetery, Resurrection Cemetery, and I know it gets said a lot when people retire, but his experience and his knowledge is going to be invaluable. To, I don't know how we're gonna replace it truthfully. Um, I learn something from him every single day still on this job, and I've been here for a little over six years. So I know that we're going to find a way to keep moving forward, but I do truly mean that when I say that, that, that the knowledge that he brings with him with 40 years of experience is going to be impossible to replace. So uh, this is my thank you to Brian for all of his work and service to the community. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anything else from the department heads? Entertain a motion to adjourn? Ooh. Moved by Helms. <laughs> It's the chair. Second. <laughs> Second by a read. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion is carried. Means adjourned. That's it. Well, that was, you know, that's.